Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Watch out! He's got a gun! No! Don't! Let me go! What is it, Henry? Which Cavendish, Warden? Somebody must have sneaked him a gun. I was just letting him out for exercise period when he pulled it on me. Which Cavendish? He's the last one I'd want to escape. Tell the guards to shoot at sight. I can't. Why not? Your son Johnny was on his way up here to see you just as Butch broke out. He grabbed hold of him. He's got a gun on him now. Johnny, yeah. what's Cavendish doing to him? Nothing yet. He says he wants to talk to you. I think he's got some kind of a proposition. Tell him to come in. Yes, sir. Here he is, Warden. I'm sorry, Dad. He grabbed me when I wasn't looking. That's all right, son. Let him go, Cavendish. I'm giving the orders here now, Warden. You'll never get out of here alive. Well, if I don't, your kid won't either. I'll use this gun on him, and you know I mean it. What's your deal? I'm taking him out of here with me. You'll get him back safe and sound on one condition, that you let the rest of my gang go free. Don't do it, Dad. I couldn't do that if I wanted to, Cavendish. Your men aren't here now. They're out to the prison farm. I know that. But you let them go free and they get back. They can meet me at one of my old hideouts. How will they know which one? Don't worry, they will. If they're not there by noon Wednesday, you'll never see this kid again. You'll never make it. Your guards won't shoot. They know how crazy you are about Junior here. Come on, you. Get that cowardly rat. Don't lose your head, Warden. He'll kill Johnny for sure. They're letting him out, all right. They don't want to risk hurting the boy. What can I do, Hanley? You've got no choice, Warden. It's a Cavendish gang or Johnny's life. Let those outlaws free to harm innocent people? No, Hanley, I can't do that. But, Warden, Johnny. We'll have to find some other way to save him. But how? Nobody but the Cavendish gang know where those hideouts are. They'll never talk. There's someone else who knows. The man who captured the Cavendish gang years ago. The Lone Ranger. If we could only get word to him. Oh, that's impossible, Warden. No one ever knows where he is. Whenever a crime is committed, he knows. Somehow he finds out. If he could only learn about this before it's too late. You're back early, Tonto. Where are the supplies? We not get them. No time for food now. What's happened? Word come through to town, Butch Cavendish break jail. Cavendish? Our worst enemy. Him take Warden's son as hostage. Hold him at one of old hideouts. Him say him kill boy if Cavendish gang not free by noon Wednesday. If I know Warden Sears, he's much too honest to release those outlaws, even if his boy's life is at stake. We ride fast. Maybe still time to save him. Not a chance, Tonto. Cavendish had too many hideouts. He could be holding the boy in any one of them. We don't have time to check them all. If we spit up, we cover more ground. Yes, but that's trusting too much to luck. What we do then? You ride to Cavendish's closest hideout. If he isn't there, go on to the next one. Maybe you'll reach him before I do. But where you go? To the prison, Tonto. That's the only sure way I can think of to find Butch Cavendish. It's good you're here, friend. And you know that there isn't anything within reason that I wouldn't do to save my boy. But what you suggest... I don't know. I realize it's risky, Warden. But it's better than letting Johnny die. Besides, you won't be freeing the whole gang. Just one man. But one is as bad as all. Besides, this Dooley is no fool, you know. What makes you so sure that he'll lead you to where Cavendish is? I'll try not to let him know I'm following him. But if you should get to the hideout, it's two against one. It's bad enough having Cavendish at large without letting his chief henchman go, too. You've got to do it, Warden. Not only for Johnny's sake, but we must get Cavendish back again. All right. We'll risk it. You better wait in the closet. You can bring Dooley in now, Hanley. Dooley, I'm asking you for the last time. Where is Cavendish hiding out with my boy? I wouldn't know. But if I were to let you loose, then you would know, is that it? All right. All right, Dooley. 
You win. I'm going to let you go. And what about the rest of the gang? One at a time. I'm not going to let you out in a group to raid the territory. All right, Warden. That's good enough for me. One at a time. But get this straight. If any harm comes to my boy, you and Cavendish are going to have your neck stretched. Understand? Sure, Warden. Sure, I get it. All right, then. On your way. Not so fast. You must think I'm an awful fool. What do you mean? I know what your game is. It's a trap to catch Cavendish. Five minutes after I'm out of here, half the guards in this place will be on my trail. I give you my word of honor that no guard will follow you out of this prison. And what difference would it make if they did? I know where I'm going. They don't. I could lose a thousand guards by the time I reach Cavendish. Now, you still want to let me go? I want to save my boy at any price. Okay, Warden. I'll go. But on my terms, I ain't tracking around the country in this outfit. I want some new clothes, a horse, and a gun with bullets just in case somebody should try to follow me. Take him out and give him what he wants, and then let him go. Thanks, Warden. You sure treat us prisoners nice. He's a tough customer, Warden. And I hope I've done the right thing. But if he gets away for good, I'll have betrayed the honest people who put me in this job. Don't worry. I'll pick up his trail as soon as he leaves. But I don't trust him. He's liable to lead you on a wild goose chase. I don't think so. Dooley's too sure of himself. But we've only gotten to noon Wednesday. Suppose Dooley doesn't get to Cavendish for then. You forget, Warden, I'm not your only hope. Tyler was looking for Cavendish, too. He's had time to reach some of his hideouts by now. For all we know, he's already rescued Johnny. I can only believe that. idea before. Now I don't have to watch both doors at once. What are you doing now? Just making sure that nobody takes us by surprise. If they try that door over there, they're going to get an awful headache. If they try this one, they're going to get a bullet in the belly. You can't scare Dad into letting your gang go free. He'll never do it. He will if he ever wants to see you again. Well, I guess I won't be needing these anymore. Dad would be cheating the people that trust him if he let those crooks out of jail. I wouldn't want him to do it even if he could. Shut up! You yap too much. She was never coming out of it, Injun. Say, where's that masked man you used to work with? You may not know. Don't lie to me. Where is he? No. Well, I've got other ways making you talk. No. Wait, me tell. Him in town. Him have business there. Me not know where him is now. That truth. I wonder if I can believe that. Probably not. I'm going to go outside and take a look around just in case. And don't you worry, kid. I'll be back to take care of you. Time's running fast. You'll not be frightened. There's still hope. Don't try to fool me, Indian. We don't have one chance in a million. Who are you, anyway? Me, Tonto, your friend. You'll not forget one chance in a million better than none. I'm sorry you risked your life to save me. Now we're both gonna die. You give up plenty easy. We not dead yet. We're as good as dead. I wish you'd do it now and get it over with. What if someone on way to rescue us? Who? Nobody could find us here. Friend of Tonto maybe find us. You mean the masked man Cavendish was talking about? That's right. Oh, what's the use? Even if he did get here in time, he'd be trapped same as you. You not be too sure. Him never say die. 
You mean, you really think there's a chance for us? There are always chances if you not give up. Well, Engine, I guess you wasn't lying. There's no sign of that mask, man. Sure hope you boys wasn't lonesome. We're doing all right. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Because there's nothing like spending what time you've got left being happy. And you haven't got much. Well, I reckon I better set my little trap again just in case that mask man comes snooping around. Come in, stranger, and rest a spell. Thank you, ma'am. It's the right kind of you. Oh, nothing like being friendly, we always say. We were just going to take some victuals to a poor sick neighbor. Do you come from these parts? No, ma'am. I've been traveling a long way. Oh, you sure look it. Would you like some nice hot soup to warm your inner? Well, no, not now. I'm awful sorry to bust in on you like this, but I just had to hide Summers. Hide? Who, who, who from? Well, I had a suspicion for the last couple hours that... I've been followed by a bandit. A bandit, oh, is he? Oh, oh. That's right, ma'am. A man wearing a mask. He was probably after my hard-earned wages. Oh. oh, I'd like nothing better than to get that ornery skunk. And I can, too, if you ladies will help me. Us? Help you catch a bandit? Do, do you think we could? You just tell us what to do, mister, and we'll do anything you say. Oh, good. Well, now, look. I'll pretend to ride away from here. Now, it's my hunch that that masked man has come knocking at that door try to find out if I left my money with you. Don't you worry, mister. We'll get rid of him somehow. Oh, but I don't want you to. You gotta find some excuse to keep me here. And I'll circle around the back and sneak in that door there and we'll catch him red-handed. Oh, I think that's a lovely place. Oh, you can count on us, mister. We'll keep him here somehow. Oh, well, that's fine, ladies. Well, I'll go now. Believe me, the law is gonna be mighty grateful to you for helping to catch this bandit. <laughs> Ask man, just like he said. And he's coming right toward us. I beg your pardon. Oh, Elsie, yes, we have a visitor. Do come in. Thank you, ladies. Do you always welcome masked men with such open arms? Why shouldn't we? You have an honest chin. Besides, we always say it's a man's own business to choose what he wants to wear. I wish more people felt that way. The reason I'm here is... Oh, to... Effie, the man looks hungry. Offer him some soup. Thank you very much. I'd like to stay, but I haven't time. You see, I'm trailing a man who just stopped here. I thought he might have harmed you. That nice man. He wouldn't harm a fly. I'm afraid he would, ma'am. He happens to be an escaped convict. Oh, he couldn't be one. All he wanted was some, some food for his journey. Did he drop a hint as to where he was headed? Not a word, mister. And uh, we're not the ones to pry. Mm -hmm. Then I'd better be after him fast. Oh, before you leave me, we won't hear of it. Effie, this too. I'm sorry, I really can't stay. Oh, yes, you can. Reach. Now drop them guns. Easy. Oh, thank goodness you got back. We were afraid we couldn't hold him for you. You've done fine, ladies, just mm -hmm. fine. You're even lower than I thought you were, Dooley, taking advantage of two helpless women. I take my advantages where I find them. Now turn around. Come on. I've been itching to do this for years. Oh, oh. Mr. Do 
Julie, you had no right to strike him. He wasn't hurting you. Shut up. He thought he could trail me to the hideout. Now, get in that closet, the both of you. In a closet? That's what I said, unless you want to stay here while I blow his brains out. Oh, Effie, the masked stranger was telling us the truth. We've trapped the wrong uncle. You sure have, and by the time you two old beetle beaks are out of that closet, I'll be with my pal Cavendish, and that Umbria will be dead. Come on. Come kill him in cold blood. Come on, quit your stalling and get in there, you two. Oh, oh, my soup. My soup is boiling. What, uh, what'll I do with it? I don't care what you do with it, so long as you get rid of it. Now, well, come on. Whatever you say, mister. Ooh. Call us Beetlebeaks, will you? <laughs> oh, take it easy. There, that rod ought to ease the pain. Are you sure your head don't hurt you anymore or where it hit you? It's fine now. Thanks to you both. You keep looking at that clock. Is there anything the matter? That boy I was telling you about. We don't have much time. Dooley, I'm asking you for the last time. Where's Cavendish holding Johnny? Why don't you let me go and follow me? I know you'd never leave me there now. Are you going to let that innocent boy die? That warden's kid don't mean a thing to me. I've never seen a meaner man. Maybe if you give him a few jabs with this, he'd mean more gossipy. No, thanks. I don't believe in torture. There must be some other way to make him talk. You're hogtied, mister. Supposing I did talk. How would you know whether I was telling the truth or lying? That's easy. Whenever Effie tells a lie, she blushes. Oh, Effie, hush. <laughs> you Wait a minute, ladies. You've just given me an idea. Lots of people blush when they tell lies. It's their hearts that give them away. They pump the blood faster. Mister, I ain't the blushing kind. You don't have to be Dooley to give yourself away. <gasps> I see what you mean. His pulse. That's right, ma'am. Oh, do let us help you. It's a long chance, ladies, but it may work. You keep your fingers on his pulse while I question him. You're a fool if you think I'm going to tell you what hideout he's at. I'm saying no to everything. Go ahead, mister. We're ready. Where's Cavendish hiding? Silver Canyon? No. Twin Forks? No. Eagle Pass? No. Dead Man's Gulch? No. Well, try him again on that one, mister. Dead Man's Gulch? I said no. Oh, my, yes. Oh, that's the one. It must be. His pulse is racing like a house of fire. It's worth a try, ladies. Dead Man's Gulch is a long ride from here. Take a shortcut over Willow Bridge. It's much quicker. I only hope I can make it in time. You ladies keep this outlaw tied up until I get back. You've both been a big help. Thanks. Oh, what a nice man. And just think, Effie, we've captured a real live outlaw. Oh, this is the most exciting time we've had since Grandpa won the horseshoe pitching contest. <laughs> You're sure in an old fire hurry, mister. What's the idea of the roadblock? What's the idea of the mask? This mask means the same to me as a badge of office does to a lawman. Why is the road closed? Bridge ain't there no more. The river washed it away last night. Is there any other way across? I'm out of chance. Look, mister, I've got to get to Dead Man's Gulch by 12 noon. If I don't, a boy's going to die. There must be some other way across the river. Well, why didn't you say so? Why don't you speed my pity? Eagle Pass. The river's not so deep, maybe you and your horse can swim across. Thanks a lot. Dead man's gulch at 12 noon. <laughs> the darn fool, he won't come anywhere near making it. I never figured that a father could care so little for a son. My gang should have been here by now. I told you you wouldn't let him go. And I told you I'd kill you if he didn't. I reckon we both meant it. How much time? One minute. Still doing all right, kid? You not forget what I tell you. Never say die. That's good advice, Ancient. Too bad you can't take it. I'll never give up, Cavendish. Not even after you pull the trigger. You die hard, kid. With less than a minute to live and both doors tricked up so nobody can break in and you still figure there's a chance somebody might save you. Oh, I get it. The masked man. Still thinking about him, huh? He's gonna pull a miracle, sneak in just in the nick of time. Him come of him can. From out of nowhere, I suppose. That's right. From out of nowhere. You're too late, Injun. You've been dreaming up fairy tales. I just hope the kid here didn't believe you. Because this is one time they're not coming true. 
Your time's up, Injun. I'm gonna let you have it first. And there's no masked man standing by to save you. All right, Cavendish. I'll take that other gun. I don't... <laughs> trap. Gee, Tonto, you were right. He came from out of nowhere. And then he kicked the door open and Cavendish fired. And then the ranger jumped in and knocked him all over the place. I'm afraid Johnny's exaggerating, Morton. That Mr. Cavendish sounds just as bad as our Mr. Dooley. Oh, that horrible man. And when I think how we trusted him. The important thing is that Cavendish and Dooley are back in prison. Neither of them can hurt anybody again. The most important thing to me is that you've saved my boy's life. And for that, I can never repay you. We not work for pay. We work for justice. He's right, Warden. And justice needs no pay. Well, Tano, it's time to go. If you ladies would like, we'll put you in your carriage. Oh, oh Effie, what a nice man. And so polite. You sure you won't let us take just a peek under that man? And a Grushin, Effie. Why, it's not his face that matters. It's his character. And he's just oozing with that. <laughs> you ladies have a good deal of character yourselves. Oh. So long, Johnny. Goodbye. Bye, Warden. Goodbye. Gee, Dad, I've never met a man like him before. That's because he's one in a million. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! Hello! 